here's a quick run around of the house. You can see this wall is the last one left to do. We have uh, all the other walls done, all the window sills are done. It's really starting to look like a house now. They're not here working because uh, the weather has been a bit on and off over the last couple of days and obviously you don't want to apply plaster when it's raining because all your plaster will fall off. So yeah, you can see all the window sills done. This is a special lime and cork plaster with diatomaceous earth, so it's an insulating plaster. So we've got about one and a half centimeters of plaster all around the house for the insulation. We also have 15 centimeters of polystyrene insulation under the roof, so all the roof has been done as well. And then you can see they've cleared up all back here as well. And all of this, uh, hopefully next week, if it stops raining, um, will get plastered. This is going to be our battery cupboard in here, where all the solar install will go. This door we made with a friend because they wanted us, uh, they wanted to charge me like 400 euros to make one of these doors. So I went and bought all the material and a friend helped me weld it. And so you can see there's no more bricks to be seen anymore. These are all just uh, cupboards for workspaces. The one in the middle there is um, my little workshop. This one on the right is just going to be for random things. So our little bedroom window upstairs. So yeah, the outside hopefully by the end of next week will be fully plastered. And uh, this is the last wall that we have left to do. And then the outside of the actual building building will be fully insulated and finished. Um, we'll just have like terraces and stuff to finish off, but at least this winter with the 15 centimeters of insulation on the roof and the centimeter and a half on the walls, we should be nice and cozy. We've already noticed a massive difference this summer in the in the temperature inside. If we closed the windows, uh, if we left the windows open in the mornings while it was cool and then once the sun came around we closed them, the house would stay at a constant temperature, um, which was a lot cooler than, than the outside. And now it's doing the opposite. Now in the morning the temperature stays inside the house at about um, 20, in between 20, 23 and 25 degrees if it's sunny in the daytime um, and outside it goes from about 15 16 degrees then up so it's the inside of the house is is warmer in the morning and you can feel it when you go from inside to out and then as the day goes along and it gets hotter outside then you go inside the house and it feels cool so yeah there's um a quick update, it's been a, a long time I know, but we've been busy and um, as you can see, <laughs> but yeah that's a really big step forward and so that's the outside finished, on the inside we have just a um, one, one coat of plaster to finish on the main bedroom and then we have the whole uh, ensuite bathroom for the main bedroom to finish, but that's um, all of that done which is is a massive step forward hopefully by the before the end of the year we'll be finished with all the major building and then we can relax and get on with the garden and other stuff there's the chickens over there so yeah it's nice it's going all nice and green now which is a change from the summer We've got the chickens, the other set of chickens over there doing their work in the in the garden. So yeah, it's all coming along and the autumn's setting in and it's nice to see some green on the ground. We've had just dirt and mud, well not mud, <laughs> just dirt and earth all summer. <laughs> 